Hello everyone. In this video we are going to see what happens if I miss the test that is TCS NQT test uh, by mistake or intentionally. Alright, so uh, what will happen uh, if uh, my test is scheduled on 24th and uh, I miss it on 24th. Okay, so will I get a second chance or else I will be uh, totally that means I will miss the test for permanently. Okay. So if these are the questions which are there in mind, then you should watch the video completely because we are going to talk about this one. Uh, so what will be the uh, type of next chance, how it is given and uh, what will be the time period for this one. So all those things we will be discussing. Alright, so uh, let me just first show you uh, the message which I will be getting from the TCS when we miss the test. Okay, so you assume that you have missed the test on 24th and then you will be getting a message like this so uh, i on dsk so in case you were not able to complete the exam or lost time due to interruptions so be rest assured that you will be provided another attempt so make sure see here they are telling that you will be provided with the another attempt here so you can see uh, this one so another attempt they are already bold here okay so for nqt next attempt date and time will be shared by 25th october end of the day so you have missed on 24 and on 25th they are sending you this text message saying that don't worry we will be sending you an another test link where you can take the test again so uh, that means uh, once if you miss the tcs nqt test then you will be provided with the another test date. but you should choose the method online there so if you all if you have allotted with a center and you are not able to reach that center there then they will be not providing any other chance because it's an offline test where you have to go physically and sit in front of a computer and give the test so like uh, we normally do but due to this pandemic they have provided an other opportunity where we will be able to give an online test means we will be sitting in our home and giving the test so if you have chosen this method then they will be uh, providing you another chance so how their email look like so let me just show you that one as well okay so the email which they will be sending will be something like this so you can see here tcs nqt revised date and time so revised date and time uh, to me dear candidate so due to un Foreseen situation the scheduled TCS NQT was disrupted earlier. We regret the inconvenience caused to you. However, a revised schedule has been uh, drawn for all the affected candidates to finally take the NQT assessment. Okay, so uh, they are take, telling that we will take again a test. Then revised date is 28th October 2020, and uh, they will be giving some time. So time and date will vary, but you will get a chance for sure. The login details and the assessment process remains the same as earlier. So before this you could have got some mails where they will be giving you the different types of steps and how to take the exam, what will be the procedure, how to register for the exam. Okay, registration for exam is very important. You have to register half an hour before or else if I don't register half an hour before then what will happen. So if you don't know what will happen then you can check the playlist guys. You will find the video uh, regarding that one also. So we have done the video on that one. So what will happen if you don't register? Okay. Then uh, in case you had successfully completed the test without any issues, you can ignore this mail. Your previous score will be considered. However, if you decide to write again, be informed that your latest attempt only will be considered and previous score will be ignored. So if you have already completed, then chill. You don't need to give this exam again. But uh, if you uh, if you want to give this exam again but you have some uh, i mean um, uh, you, you think you have, you have missed earlier something then you can give it again but the point is that the latest score will be considered for the exam so the previous score will be discarded and the next where whatever you'll be getting here will be considered for the uh, finalizing the uh, final marks okay so that's about uh, what will happen if you miss the TCS and QT exam. So I hope you like this video and found this useful. Please guys, if this video helped you a little bit, please hit the like button and smash that subscribe button because we will be up. 
uploading this type of continuous videos regarding uh, many types of different jobs so thank you thanks for your time guys see you in the next one